I'm gonna show y'all how to how we clean these stingrays. You go down till you hit that that gristle right there. You just follow it out. Anyway, if we shoot them out here, we let them go. If we hit them somewhere where it's gonna, you know, where he might not survive, we put them in the cooler and eat them. But for the most part, if we hit them somewhere in this area, we turn them loose. Anyway, that's how you get. Now you got four stakes. You got two on the top, and then you got two on the bottom. You go ahead and flip it over and cut one off the bottom just so they can see it. These ones on the bottom ain't gonna be quite as big. Now, if you keep going up in here, you're gonna get into his gut, so you got to stay out from that. Same way, you just follow that. And they are so good to eat. You batter it and fry it just like you would a catfish. But now, you don't cut that red off on this. Anyway, Hannah's gonna show you how to get the skin off that thing. Cut that in half, make it a little easier to do. Yeah, now they slick and slimy, so they're hard to work with. Yeah. But this is about the best way we've found to do it. It's, it's this part right here gets a little tedious, but uh, it's worth it. Yeah, and what most folks don't know, everybody looks down on eating stingrays, but in a lot of restaurants, when you order a, when you order scallops, you're really getting stingrays that are just cut out in circles. They taste good. They taste real good. They real, they taste real good fried. Yep. That's how we eat them. Like I said, you don't cut any of that red meat off. Yeah, we went with the uh, Travis you just Martin. Cut that skin right there off. Yeah, look at that. Now, isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Slab of meat. Yep. Went with Travis Martin. He took us last night. Our boat's not ready. Find him on Instagram. At Southern Life Bow Fishing. Yep, y'all give him a follow. We still gotta get some lights for our boat. Yep. Anyway, appreciate y'all.